yeah, you probably are thinking, why am I not going to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood today? Well, it's not playing here anymore. Like, I know, after three weeks, and it still made over $100 million at the box office, it's gone. Like, it's not playing at this theater anymore for some reason. And yet, Spider-Man and The Lion King, which have been out for weeks now, are still here. So, unfortunately, you're not going to see a review of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood until it comes out on Blu-ray. So, so yeah, but I am going to check out a couple movies later today. But right now, it's nice out right now. It's not too warm out. At least not r right now, because it's like 10 o'clock right now. It's like 77. And it's supposed to rain later today. So, I'm heading outside right now, and then I'm going to go to the movie theater later on to see... I'm going to go see Angry Birds 2 again, because there was a, there's a, apparently some new stuff in there that they put in. A new short they put in there that wasn't with the, fir the first showing I went to a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to check that out, and then I'm going to go see Dora and the Lost City of Gold, because I didn't get to see that last week because of the Steel City Con. And as you can tell, I'm decked out in my Steeler gear because it's game day today. Preseason game day, but still. Uh, the Steelers play the Kansas City Chiefs tonight, so uh, later down the line I'll go... Okay, so I'll go and watch that game. I'm probably going to go to Red Robin and watch it, but speaking of the Steelers, um, I should mention that if you have not t done it yet, uh, go watch the trailer for Stairway to Seven, the Steeler documentary I'm working on for this upcoming season. You're basically going to see the season-long history, the season, season-long history, um, my se it's a season in the life of a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, myself, which that's going to start next month. You can go ahead and watch the trailer. I'll put a link to it uh, up here or up here, depending on which way it's I'm going to get that figured out one time. I'm going to figure out where the links are going to go from right here. But, yeah, that's yeah. if you haven't watched the trailer for that yet, click the link up there at the top, either here or there. But, yeah, let's head over to Best Buy because today is also Avengers Endgame Day. Actually, it was Tuesday, but it's Avengers Endgame Week. So, And I do have a couple copies of Endgame already, but I want to see if they have the steelbooks in here because when it comes to Best Buy and their steelbooks... Sometimes they have a lot of them, but other times they don't. Like, I know they have a lot of Star Wars The Force Awakens ones when that came out, and they also had Captain Marvel ones, but I went online last night to see if they had any Avengers Endgame ones. They didn't have any of them on the website, so I'm curious to see whether or not they actually are in the store. I would think that they would be more of them, because, you know, you got the highest grossing movie of all time worldwide. You'd think there'd be several copies of that still available, but I don't know. We're about to find out. Best Buy's open right now. Let's head on in. I'm kind of surprised there's nothing out in front of the store that says that the movie's out, but I can already see through the window that the there's a display here, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick as we come in here. It looks like they're all out of the steelbooks, regular steelbooks, but... Still got this one right here. Speaking of steel books. Ah, of course that one has the loose disc inside of it. But on the plus side, they at least still have a Detective Pikachu steel book here. As well as this. They may not have the Avengers Endgame steelbooks, but they sure have a ton of the four movie collection steelbook sets. Also, check this out $29.99 for these. Also, the Captain Marvel ones. This is new. They didn't have this the last couple of times I've been here. Pet Cemetery on Steelbook. For $30. Bucks. Look at all the Halloween steelbooks they've still got here. For $20, bucks too. This is the new one. Hmm. Here's the Rob Zombie one. Saw. The Mummy. Psycho. Predator. I have this one, the Zombie Land one. They got it. Yeah, I think I might pick this up too. Yeah, that Pet Cemetery steelbook also had a disc that was out of its thing. 
see, I don't get it with those steelbooks. They're so valuable and they sell out so quickly, but yet there are still several of them in the store that have discs that are out of their out of their casing and just keep moving around inside the bo box right there. So anyway, I did come out of Best Buy with a couple of things, and I will show you those things right now. And the first thing I did pick up in there, which I found at the last second, was the USB recording microphone, which says right there, great for vlogging, podcasting, and voiceovers. And I'm going to use this for, because I finally got a pinnacle put into my laptop a couple weeks ago, so, and I'm currently working on the process of getting everything set to do the Stairway to 7 stuff, so... This is going to come in really handy. It was only 40 bucks. It was on, it was uh, 50 originally, but it was marked down from that to 10. So, Insignia's usually had to, made some good stuff up that I've used so far. So I'm really looking forward to check to using this one. But uh, here's the stuff I came in for. The stuff I was really looking for. Well, mo one thing in particular I was looking for for it again, but I couldn't get over here last week. The Detective Pikachu 3D Exclusive Combo Pack, which has the three Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, and digital code. I have the Steelbook at home, and I'll show you that at the end of the video, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie, man, like, this is probably the best, actually, yeah, this is, the this is the best video game movie I've seen so far. They just did a really good job with this movie, Ryan Reynolds is great, Justice Smith is great here, they did a great job of, like, cap making Pokemon feel like it, it was in, took place in real life. That didn't make any sense. They did a good job of making Pokemon exist in this world that they, they created here. And like I said, I have the Steelbook version of this. I'll show you that when we get home. But, um, yeah. For 30 bucks, why not? I've, I made enough money last week from the show. I, th I thought, why not splurge a little bit? Uh, next up... If I can turn it around here. There we go. I finally got the Conjuring Collection. And they had, the, they had the, this one and they had another one here that, I, that I'll show you in just a bit here. But you get Annabelle and Annabelle Creation, The Conjuring and Conjuring 2, and The Nun... Which, you know what, these movies are actually pretty good. I'm not a big horror movie fan in particular, but these ones have been really good, except for Annabelle and the Nun, but, you know, three out of five ain't bad, so. And I also heard Annabelle Comes Home is actually kind of decent, too, but. Plus, you get a ticket for It Chapter 2, which comes out next month. I'm really looking forward to seeing that one. But here's the surprise of the day. I was actually really surprised that they had this in there, but I'm happy I, w I found it. It was the last copy, too. Trick or Treat on Blu-ray, like. I've seen Michael Dowdy's other movie, Krampus. I really love that movie. I saw this one on IFC a couple of years ago on Halloween. Fantastic movie. I could see what everyone was saying whenever they were talking about this movie as a as a uh, as a great as a great horror underrated horror film because this was a really good movie. Like I was really, it's, it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint from the height that everyone was building up toward. Plus, you get another ticket for it, Chapter Two. So. We went on that front. This was only eight bucks too. The Conjuring one was thirty, but this was only eight bucks. So, basically, you're getting a free movie ticket from here for the same price that this was. But yeah, I was really happy that they had this in there. I was so disappointed that they didn't have it the last time I was in here a couple weeks ago. But yeah, I'm so glad I actually have it now. So, with all that said, let's head on just into Dick's Sporting Goods because there is something in particular that came out this week, and I'm going to see if they have it here, and I have a coupon for it. Oh, let's see. And when I say I have a coupon for it, I mean I have a coupon to use here. $15 off your next purchase, $75 or more, which would pretty much cover what I'm going to get in here. If they don't have it in here, then there's something else in here I might get that I saw last week. Or two weeks ago, I'm sorry. But yeah, I forgot I wasn't, in, I wasn't here at the mall last week. I was at the Steel City Con, but let's on to Dick's Sporting Goods to see if they got what I'm looking for. Here's one of the things I might get if they don't have the other thing I'm looking for in here saw this a couple of weeks ago, and I really liked it. this. It's 85 bucks, though. So, yeah, that's definitely a possibility if I can't find the thing I'm looking for over here. Well, they didn't have the shoes I was looking for, so you're coming home with me. They didn't have the shoes at Dick's Sporting Goods, but let's see if they got them here at Pittsburgh Locker Room. Sometimes they do. No luck on the shoes. I went to that Pittsburgh Locker Room, then I went to Champs, then I went to Foot Action, then I went back into Dick's again. Couldn't find them, so I don't know. Maybe those are the ones I might have to get online, unfortunately. Alright, next stop of the day, Barnes & Noble. Let's head on inside and see if they got anything in here. 
think we might have something here. Might be on sale because I might have to check the price on this because I don't know if I want to pay 50 bucks for this. Also, on another note here, Tony Dance is going to be the next Steel City Con in December, so. Actually, I don't have this movie on DVD. I might get this, maybe not now, but somewhere down the line. But yeah, seven bucks, that's not bad for this. It's about 12.40 right now. So I still got about an, over an hour before the movie starts, so I'm gonna try on the other side of the mall, see if I can find those shoes again. I highly doubt it, but I'll see if I can find them in there, because I didn't check this side over here, because there's a Foot Locker, Finish Line, and Macy's. Macy's might have them too. First, let's try here at Macy's. Well, no luck in Macy's, so got two other stops down here, Foot Locker and Finish Line. But before we do that, let's head on to Cash and Culture real quick. And that's three strikes. I checked Macy's, I checked Finish Line, I checked Foot Locker. None of them. None of them had them. Off to the movie theater we go. God, that movie looks terrible. Dude. I'm in the movie theater right now for the second film I've seen I'm seeing today, which is Door in the Lost City of Gold. I gotta say, man, today there's a lot of rude people here, like rude people and just obnoxious people. Like I went to the Angry Birds movie too, which I gotta say, I like better the second time around. It's been a couple weeks since I see it, since I went to the Target exclusive screening of it. I can put a link to that video. Either I will get this right one day over here, up here somewhere. But yeah, I went to the Target exclusive for this a couple weeks ago. I liked it the first time around. It wasn't really all that intri Is it didn't really wow me as much as the first movie did. Second time I saw it, I actually liked it better the second time around. I thought the short at the beginning of this one, Hair Love. It's fantastic, man. Like, if, that's my candidate right there for the best animated short for this year's Oscars. So, don't screw it up, Oscars. But there were people who actually... There's two people actually left the theater after Hair Love. They didn't even bother to stay for the movie. I thought, you're not really going to be one of those people that go, is here for the short and then just leaves, are you? And then, as far as I know, they never came back. So, I mean, it's just like, okay, I understand. Like, Hair Love's actually kind of a really good movie attached to this good movie that's not is that's not as good as the first angry birds movie but still man like you it's like if you leave after hair love you're actually missing out on kind of a decent movie with a, a, actually more than a decent movie with angry birds movie too i mean obviously hair love's the better of the two things but you know you paid for it you might as well stay and enjoy the try to enjoy the experience yeah well it's because you know what you might actually enjoy the movie itself but but yeah, after that, when I went to go refill my popcorn and my drink at the concession stand, these two pe these two people came up really close, like they were about to jump at me in line. And it's just like I had to think to myself, "Don't you dare! Don't you dare do that!" Because like, because you know what? There's no reason to be like that. There's no reason that you're in that big of a hur hurry to get in to get in line ahead of me to get your food. Because like. It's not my fault that I'm holding you up, and it wasn't my fault because there was like a, a, a family cut right before me, and then these two people just slowly but surely tried to, try to creep up behind me, thinking that okay they're gonna try to sneak up on me and try to take my place in line. It's just like just don't do that. Just don't be like that. Like just you get what I'm saying here. It's just like just some rude people, just some rude and obnoxious people today. I don't know why, but. Yeah, that's my Ruby Theater rant for the day. And uh, I just now have to wait for Dora and the Lost City of Goldstar, which I actually heard is actually not that bad. 
I actually heard it got a lot of good reviews, so I am kind of curious to see how this does. But, yeah, just, bottom line is, don't be rude to people. Wait in, wait in line. Just follow the rules, all right? Just follow the rules and just, just don't be obnoxious. Just don't be rude. Like, I can't stand obnoxious people. I have to deal with that every day. With it. It's every week when I have to work at the grocery store, so, yeah. That's what, there goes my rant for the taste. Now let me enjoy my movie. I don't know why, man. I've got blueberries in places where blueberries should never be. Swifty? I think I'm pulling a pill. Are we a pill? Swifty always dreamed of being the world's greatest sled dog. You are not a dog. What? You are a small arctic fox. And today... You can't fight your metabolism. I can, and I will. That dream is about to take off. Swifty? Something very bad is going on in the Arctic. Jeremy Renner. We gotta stop him. Heidi Klum. Swifty, get off of there! James Franco. Be with the resistance. John Cleese. On our side. Explain this. Michael Madsen. Arctic Strong. Lori Holden. What do we got here? With Angelica Houston. There's my number one star. And Alec Baldwin. Oh no, we're gonna be late. Give me a second. Are you crazy? Is that that Larry Mills Park? It might be. It could be that uh, temple too. What temple? The temple on the turn you see as you go past the Pittsburgh down the, tur the turnpike. Is it? Yeah, that's Pennsylvania. Oh. Now it's home to one of the country's largest living donor liver transplant programs, too. It didn't choose the need to liver transplant, but it did choose UPMC. Visit UPMCStories.com to learn more. I guess that's it. <laughs> Rudolph's in the gun. He's back with a snap. Pick up the blitz. Pass is complete over the middle to the 38 yard line. X Man, Xavier Grimble has it. And that's enough for the first down for Pittsburgh in KC territory. Darren Lee, the fourth year weak side backer out of Ohio State, made the stop. Great. Derwin James. Oh, he's awesome. He had a leg injury of some sort. Uh, I didn't see the specifics on that, but he had uh, over 100 tackles last year. So we're going to get a quarter in the end zone. Redemption. Redemption. Yeah, here's the Detective Pikachu steelbook I got last week in the mail from Best Buy because... I wasn't sure if they were going to have this in the store. I don't know if they had it last week because I didn't get to go to Best Buy, but there it is right there. I mean, just a great movie, man. I mean, I mean, like I said, I double dipped on this because this one is an exclusive. It was the last copy they had there. Figured why not. I love this movie enough to have two copies of this, but this beauty right here. Oh, boy. This one right here is impressive. And I actually did get the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Endgame, which I got, also got in the mail, but my sister is currently borrowing it right now. I'm going to get it, and if they have, a, I'm pretty sure they're going to have Avengers Endgame on sale on Black Friday this year at Best Buy, because they had Infinity War on sale last year for, I think it was 8 bucks. If that happens, I'm probably going to get her that for her and Ryan that as a Christmas gift, so. But yeah, the, yeah, but this is uh, the Avengers Best Buy exclusive steelbook set. And I gotta be honest, I was surprised there was actually more copies of this at Best Buy than I thought there was going to be. I mean, I w if for something like this, I would have thought maybe like, I don't know, one or two copies. But they had like four copies of this left over. But let me go ahead and open this up real quick. Alright, so there's the inside of the Avengers box set. And I took everything out before because I actually did this beforehand, but the camera was tilted upside down. And I had to reshoot everything again, so... I took everything out of the packaging and all that, but I'll show you the stuff that comes inside here. This was a little envelope that has a message from Kevin Feige, the chairman of Marvel Studios, talking about the movies here. So there's that. Here's the digital codes, which I will tell you this, if you own any of these movies 
on any other on 4K beforehand because these are all 4K still books. These codes will not work if you put them into like Disney Movie Rewards. So I figured that out because, like I said, I have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Avengers Endgame. I already put the code in there when I got it on Monday. When I got this on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday. I put this last code in here. It took all the other codes except for this one. So if you have the same movie, even if it's a different code on here, it won't register on Disney Movie Rewards. So a little something that you should know if you're going to buy both the Steelbook and the collection here. But I'll show you the Steelbooks themselves. There's the first one. First Avengers. Here's Age of Ultron, which I already own the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook of this one when this movie came out. I was actually happy I found a copy of that one when that came out, because... Usually, because like I said, usually with the Best Buy Steelbooks, they don't usually last too long. As it was the case today for the Avengers Endgame Steelbook. So there's the Age of Ultron one. Here's Infinity War. And then... Here is... Same thing has happened the last time I recorded this. This thing wouldn't come out of the thing. That There's the one for Endgame, which this one actually has both the two Blu-ray... Blu-rays, the regular Blu-ray and the bonus features Blu-ray, as well as the 4K. So when you take all of these out... They all look like the movie poster art. The teaser poster art, excuse me. So there, I it was a hundred. That's a hundred fifty bucks, and I think it's definitely worth it. I think these honestly look better than some of the other steel books that they have for the Avengers, like some of the other ones that they have, like the the art ones that they have for all the other for this one and this one are okay. But I like I like these ones because I like the teaser. I like the teaser poster art for this. So those are all for the Avengers steel books, and that wraps up this episode of Movie Stop.